Hello everyone. Today we are going to fix the Wi-Fi missing. This is a very common problem in Windows 10. If I click here, I do not get the Wi-Fi option. And if I just do a right click and I go to settings and then go to network internet, I do not see the Wi-Fi option here. So we are going to fix this problem by very simple steps. Make sure you follow each and every step. And once you fix it, please hit the like and subscribe. I really need your support. So I'll just close this and let's get started. So we need to check if our network adapter is working fine or not. So for that, in the search bar, type CMD and then run as an administrator. And here, I'll just zoom it so that you can see. Type ping space 127.1.1.1. Dot one, dot one, dot one. So we need to hit enter and if you see the reply like this that confirms that your network adapter is working absolutely fine. So there are no issues, no problems with the adapter. So hardware is good. Now let's move to the next step. Now we need to check if our WLAN, the Wi-Fi service is running or not. So for that, press Window and R key on your keyboard type services dot msc and then hit ok once you do that a new window will appear now I'll just maximize this and I'll select any of the application and I'll press W then we are looking for WLAN auto config make sure this application is running if it's not click on start make it active and then do a right click go to properties and here select the automatic click on apply and then OK and then restart the computer and see if it's working or not now we need to reset the internet settings for that just do a right click on the start icon click on run and here type inet cpl dot cpl and then hit OK once you do that, a new window will appear like this. We need to go to Advanced and we need to click on Restore Advanced Settings. Once this is done, click on Apply and then OK. Once this is done, we need to move to the next step and that is updating the driver. So for that, just do a right click on the Start and then go to Device Manager. and in the device manager we are looking for network adapter and here you will find your network adapter Ethros, Broadcom, Intel so in my case I have the Intel one just do a right click and click on enable device if it's disabled then enable device and then click on update driver search automatically for drivers if it says the best driver is already installed not a problem we will do it again just close this do a right click and click on update driver and this time you need to select browse my computer for drivers and then let me pick and here you can select the previous version of the driver which has worked earlier so you can try one by one by just selecting and click on next install the driver and see if you get the option the Wi-Fi missing. If the Wi-Fi is still missing in the settings then we will move to the next step after doing this. And that is a very effective step. Make sure you do not miss that. So do a right click on the start and go to settings and here we need to go to network and internet. So if the Wi-Fi is missing here in the settings just scroll it down click on network reset now network reset this will remove then reinstall all your network adapters so it's a very good thing you just need to click on reset and your network will be reset and just restart the computer and see if you have got the Wi-Fi option if not we will move to the next step we need to reset and refresh the whole network profile and that is very easy in the search bar type CMT and then run as an administrator and here 
I'll type some, some command which you need to note it down. It's net sh space winsock space reset. So once you type net sh winsock dot space reset, hit enter, it will say that it has been successfully completed and you must restart. So we will restart later once we are done with the second command. And the second command is net sh space int space ip space reset space log dot txt. Make sure you type the exact thing which I have typed and hit enter. There will be multiple of things will be reset and once this is done, restart the computer and see if your Wi-Fi is working or not. If it's not, we will move to the next step. And so you just need to press the window and R and type MS config. MS config. Once you have typed MS config, hit OK and you will see the window like this. Now here we need to go to services, click disable all and then click on enable all. Once you click on enable all, click on apply and then OK. Restart the computer and see if it's working or not. If still Wi-Fi is missing in the settings option, the last step is to install the latest network adapter from the manufacturer website. So if you're using Dell, HP, Asus or any other manufacturer, look for the model number and if you don't have the model number, look for the motherboard model number. Try to search the network adapter for that in the browser of a different computer and install the latest network adapter in the computer. And let me know in the comment section if you still have any issues and if it has worked for you, please hit the like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.